An important step in water harvesting is observation. You need to observe when it actually rains, where are the streams. So in the last monsoon, we went around the entire farm, we identified how the water is actually flowing. If you are able to sensibly do some work in the direction of the flow of water, one, that work will be more effective, two, it will also be economical. So, what we have identified is there is a big stream of water which comes in rainy season in this direction and it flows like this and you know it kind of goes downstream like that. So what should we do when there is water flowing like this? We already spoke about it. Slow it, then stop it, spread it, then let it sink and then do the magic. So first you need to slow it. So to slow that water, here you see along when the water is anyway flowing it also gets sand, mud, topsoil, all these with it, right? So here you have a place where first that water which is flowing will come and you know ensure that some bit of that mud which it is carrying, all the topsoil what it is carrying, that erosion, eroded soil, which is super rich by the way, all that soil will come and get accumulated here. And then water will still flow, right? Even though there is a small, you know, uh, pit of sorts which we have, still the water will flow. Then we put some boulders. These are just loosely put, there is no cement, nothing. These are just boulders packed nicely and what this will do is it will slow the flow of water. These are called as loose boulder structures, LBS, simple. Loose boulders, boulders loosely put, no cementing, nothing, just packed so that the water will slow down. Because of this loose boulder structure, one, the water is slowed, two, soil which would have been eroded gets arrested. Then we also ensure that there will be some plants near this because that soil is beautiful. Now there are there is water. By the way, we are not stopping water here. There is no water uh, storage here. It is just a slowing process, no storage process. Now water will gradually cross this and water will be going from here in the direction to off slope. Let us actually see where this water is going to go. It will come like this. Cross over. And in this direction. So the water crosses over and comes this way. In fact, there is one more stream from there also which will bring water towards this. So there is more water flowing. So you did one round of slowing already. And here, there is more water from multiple streams coming. So again, we just did a small pit so that there is a chance for water to slow down. And when there is something to hold this, there will also be better chance for that water to percolate. And obviously, this is not meant to you know, store water, right? So uh, obviously, it will percolate. After this crosses over, here you have something much bigger. Come, I'll show you what this is. This is a much bigger version of a loose boulder structure. You have boulders, it's nicely compactly placed here. There is support on this side, there is support on this side and there is support even here so that water doesn't just push these down. There is also proper support for these rocks to stay and you know hold up properly. What is the purpose they are serving? Again, slowing down the water. When the water is slowed down, the water will have a better chance to percolate. So through these, again, you are improving the chances for percolation. And the soil erosion, which happens because of rain uh, bringing topsoil along, that also is arrested to some extent there. Again, it gets arrested to some more extent here. So you are localizing the problem solving. That is the most important thing. You are localizing the problem solving to the extent possible. And then further, the, obviously you are not preventing the water from going away. Water will go. Water will go. But this time water will go much slowly. And when it goes slowly, crossing through all these, there is more time for the water to get into the soil and recharge the groundwater levels. To be able to do a good job of water management, you should be very good at observing the flow of water. One of the best ways to do that is when it rains, 
put on a raincoat or carry an umbrella and just walk in the entire farm or forest walk on the entire land and actually see where the flow of water is this is going to save you a lot of time money and also ensure that your water systems that you are creating are way more efficient when last year we came in the monsoon to actually see uh, where the how the water was flowing clearly this was one of the channels for the water to flow it was flowing like this and then finally it was almost traveling further 2 kilometers like this the sooner you stop the water the sooner you slow the water the better it is otherwise what will happen you will have to create something very big in, which involves lot of concrete cement steel so you actually need to do some large scale structures which are way less efficient than structures which are designed and planned in a more localized way so water harvesting is the most efficient when it is localized so let us see how we can localize this there is a stream of uh, water which is flowing like this we just put uh, these boulders are these uh, compacted with any cement or mud no nothing we just put boulders loosely placed boulders self explanatory loosely placed boulders are called loose boulder structures what will they do can they prevent the water from uh, kind of moving further they can't but they will slow the water down when the water is slowed down then you are giving water better chance to percolate into the ground and improve the water levels now one other additional advantage you will enjoy when you have these kind of loose boulder structures is anyway that rain water which is flowing will carry the top soil also with it the top soil which otherwise would have eroded and gone somewhere you are trying to give a chance for the top soil to be in your farm only and the some portion of top soil is arrested some amount of speed is uh, slowed down and some amount of water is percolating and improving the water harvesting so improving the water table your top soil is arrested to the extent possible water stream is uh, slowed down to some extent and water table is improving with the water which is percolating so this is how it is helping now it is not fully stopping right this stream will further go like this and for that we have another structure look at this we just we have if you see only this this feels like a loose boulder structure what we already have something like that but here we dug a small pond this pond which is dug is now create we have some kind of strengthening on that side also so there is a better chance for water to stay in this what will happen is it going to stay here forever obviously not it is slowed down and temporarily it will stay some portion will be evaporated but a lot hopefully will go into the soil and recharge the ground water now after this further you have one more round of slowing down process because now water is flowing from here water is flowing from here also so for this to arrest that flow we have this kind of a structure all these are done with local materials we did we, you know it's just people cost to ensure that these are laid properly but all these are done with local materials and all these are extremely effective and for because there are there is water from two directions flowing and creating pressure here you have a slightly bigger structure with rocks to protect it so this is another dugout pond but slightly bigger friends this is why i said the principle is what is important we want first the water to slow down the water which is slowed down preferably should stop once it stops and spreads you will have a better chance for that water to sink for that you need to customize adapt all these principles to your own farm so that whether you require a smaller duck you know dug dug out pond or whether you need one rock fill dam or uh, whether you need one loose boulder structure or two loose boulder structure all these things you will be able to figure out 
once you know these principles and if your objective that every drop of water we will put our best effort to harvest if these things are clear we will figure out water harvesting this place is designed the same principle just that there are not one or two there are three streams flowing into this because there are three streams flowing into it there is more inflow of water we planned a much bigger dugout pond that's all and same principle of you know rock support on both sides and there is dugout pond made friends one of the more beautiful things that will happen over time that we all will experience is birds will come to drink this water as they en start enjoying this water they will build their nests here this will become a bird habitat and they will start dropping uh, you know some seeds here there will be some beautiful trees which will come and there will be a lot of magic that we all will get to see in time to come because we are creating the right environment for biodiversity to thrive